Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is Sarika, and today we discuss about some topics of distributed operating system. So, my today's topic is lightweight RPC, means rem- lightweight remote procedure call. We already see the concept of RPC. It's called semantics, communication protocol, and types of RPC. So, in this lecture, we just see the concept of lightweight RPC. These are some key points of this topic. So, start with the introduction. The lightweight RPC was introduced by Bursell in 1990 and integrated into a TAUS operating system of DCSRC Firefly Microsoft Workstation. As we see in previous chapters, the si- based on the size of kernel, there are two types of operating system. First is monolithic kernel operating system, and second is micro kernel operating system. In my um, monolithic operating system, has a kernel which is isolated from the user program by simple hardware boundaries. but in micro kernel operating system a small kernel which is provide the some simple operations or primitive operation and other the most of the operations are provided by user level servers these servers are usually implemented as the processes and can be programmed separately each server from the components of operating system and this components has its own address space this operating system is advantageous than the microlithic operating system because it is it is simple to design implement and maintain so in this in the micro kernel approach when different components of operating system has its own address space the address space of each component is said to be a domain so based on the communication traffic operating system are of two types first is cross domain and second is cross machine cross domain means which involves the communication between the domain on same machine and cross machine means which involves communication between a domain located on the separate machine the lrpc is a communication facility designed and optimized for the cross domain communication the lrpc is safe and transparent and represent to have a communication alternative rather than micro kernel operating system to achieve the better performance than conventional rpc it uses the four techniques start with the first technique first is simple control transfer it uses a control transfer mechanism that is simple than the conventional rpc it uses special thread scheduling mechanism called as hand off scheduling for direct contact switching from client thread to the server thread then in this mechanism when client calls a server procedure it provides the server with the argument stack and its own thread of execution the call causes the trap of kernel the kernel validates the caller create a call linkage and dispatch the client thread directly to the server domain causing server to start the execution immediately when call the procedure complete control and result return through the kernel back to the point the client start in contrast conventional rpc implements context switching which is slower than which is very slow because the client thread and server thread are fixed in their own domain signaling one another scheduler must be manipulate system data structure to block the client thread and then select one of the server in technique is simple data transfer as we see in figure a uh, conventional rpc uses the four step to uh, transfer the data from client to the server so start with the first step from the client stack to the rpc message then from message in a client domain to the message in kernel domain then the third is message from in kernel domain to the message in server domain from message in server domain to the server stack so these are the four step used in a conventional rpc for the simple data transfer but on the other hand the lightweight rpc uses the shared argument stack that is accessible for both the client and server so as we see in a figure the same argument in lrpc can be copied only once from client stack to the shared argument stack the server uses the argument from the argument stack pairwise allocation of argument stack enable the lrpc to provide the private channel between the client and server and also allow the copying of parameter and result as many times as is necessary to ensure the correct and safe operation so these the, these are the two techniques then third technique is simple stuff the use of simple model of control and data transfer in lrpc facilitate the generation of highly optimized stuff every procedure has 
a call stuff in client domain and entry stuff in server domain a three layer communication protocol is defined for each procedure in lrpc interface the first is end to end described by the calling convention of programming language and architecture second is stuff to stuff implemented by stuff themselves and third is domain to domain implemented by the kernel the lrpc eliminate the inter layer crossing For example, at the time of transfer of control, the kernel associate the execution stack with the initial call frame expected by the call server procedure and directly invoke the corresponding procedure entry in a server domain. No intermediate message examination and dispatching is done. Uh, so, a simple LRPC needs only one formal procedure call in a client stuff and two returns out of server procedure and one out of client stuff. So, in this way, we just learn the The last technique is design of concurrency. These are the key points in designing concurrency. When the nodes of client and server processes of LRPC has a multiple processors with the shared memory, special mechanism is used to achieve the higher call through output and lower call latency. Through output is increased by the avoiding needless block contention by minimizing the use of shared data structure on a critical domain. then latency is reduced by reducing the context switching overhead on the ideal processor processors this is basically a generation of the idea of decreasing the operating system latency by catching recently blocked thread on the ideal processor to reduce the wake up latency instead of thread lrpc catches the domain so that any thread that needs to run in context of any ideal domain can do so quickly not just thread that can run there most recently based on this performance evaluation made by burchell it was found that lrpc achieves the factor of 3 performance improvement over more traditional approach means lrpc reduces the cost of cross domain it eliminates the interlayer communication and reduces the cost and it gives the better performance than the conventional rpc in this way we just learn the basic concept of lrpc so thank you